All right, guys, I'm videoing, so I can't talk to you with my face. This is my homemade arrow cutter. This is all just homemade piece of aluminum, drilled it out, stick your knock in there, angle iron, two by four, die grinder, leveled that over to be level with that. So your arrow gets cut square. Little metal plate. Piece of angle to cradle that die grinder. There's my little holder for the trigger. And a hook to hang it up when you're all done. Just a 2 by 4 I've had this thing forever. And I plug it into the air compressor. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see my shorts. Here, I'll show them to you. These are my shorties. Pockets hanging out. You know, old school stuff. You gotta wear shorty shorts. None of my old arrows. I'll set the distance here. Set the gap for, for cutting. This baby up about half throttle. <laughs> see me spinning that shaft it's only because I want to cut through the layers of carbon not just plow through it so I like to spin the arrows it kind of helps get a little more square of a cut going on rather than just shoving it straight through because on these die grinders the wheels a little bit thicker than what you can get for the arrow cutters you buy out of the books it's all dusty. Lack of use. You should see the dust there. I never take the time to clean the inside out with alcohol or none of that BS. I hardly ever pull inserts out. I shoot them into wood on accident, of course, or doing long shots, trying experimental things. And I use Gorilla Glue, the clear stuff, from Big R or Walmart or wherever you can get it. The stuff works. And if you want to save a few bucks, go ahead and try it. <laughs> 